impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I, I feel I'm the best ever. I broke everybody. Why you tell me who record I haven't broke? Colossal Boxing Talk. Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? This is your boy, Smooth Cat, hitting you guys with this video today. In this video, I want to I wanna talk about, um, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on Sergio Martinez continuing on with his career. Okay. First off, with the Cotto fight, Cotto came out with the perfect game plan. He, uh, you can you can see him and Freddie Roach. They they study very, they study intricate detail of Sergio Martinez to realize that the left hook would be a huge weapon in this fight, and it was a huge weapon early and often, and and it was basically um, it was it, it led to the undoing of Martinez in that fight. But as we know, Martinez is a warrior. And Martinez has a he has a solid resume. He's he, he's beat some some hell hell of hell of fighters. But it's to the point. It's kind of like like do I feel do I feel Sergio Martinez should retire? No. And and I'm I'm actually glad he chose not to retire because I feel that I feel that every champion should have should have a chance to uh to bounce back. Yeah, yes, he had a he had a tough fight with uh, a tough loss to Miguel Cotto, where he where he was soundly beaten. But I feel, uh, as a, a fighter of his caliber, I feel he should have an opportunity to uh, to redeem himself. Maybe not against Cotto right away, but I do feel he sh he should have an opportunity to redeem himself. But also the thing is. Um, after reading the article, Lou DeBella said that um, that he's willing to match Sergio up with top 15 guys, guys around like any guy in the top 15, but not he's not he's not looking forward to fighting the elites. So I mean, hey, I can understand that totally. Uh, why not fight the elites right off the bat? But honestly, um, like I say, it, it's a few guys out there who, who I feel Sergio can. Can still beat and things like that. So me, I, I I can name a few off the top of my head. He he can honestly fight Matthew Macklin again. Yeah, yes, I know he already beat Macklin, but like I say, it's, it's this is a like a litmus test. So so it's it's about us trying to see if Sergio is actually back or not. So he can he can he she, I think Matthew Macklin is an option. Um, he can fight Darren Barker again. I, like I say, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm naming a few guys who he's already beat, but it's about to see where he's at now. So, and also Marco Antonio Rubio. Marco Antonio Rubio is a, phys a physically strong fighter who has power in, in his right hand, and things of that sort. So we can see. But I honestly feel, right, we, we can see where uh, Sergio Martinez is at. But I honestly feel that. Um, I, I, I think he'll I think he'll beat uh Marco Antonio Rubio soundly. But like I say, it's he, he um Lou DeBella said top fifteen guys, so there there's three guys right there off the top of my head who who, who I know who I believe excuse sorry about that, who I believe that uh Sergio Martinez can still beat. Also, another thing is, um, because they were still saying he can make one fifty four. But so if he can make 154, I mean a, a move down, hey, that could help also. I, I it's a, it's a few guys at 154, who, who who he can test himself against and see where he's at. But um, but yeah, I mean it, it, it's all up to them. So either it, it it's up to him and his team. But I look at it like this: let's say um, Sergio fights a guy. Or, or, let's say Sergio fights either Macklin Barker or. Um, Rubio. Now, if he fights either of those guys, guys who in his prime, two of the guys in his prime, he beat handily. Well, well, he beat them. He never fought Rubio, but um, but I like I say in his prime, I I, I believe I believe he would have spanked Rubio. So, but but now we'll get to see some things by him fighting them now because because I, I feel Sergio is kind of out of his prime. But I don't think he's done as a fighter at the 
at the good to semi-elite level. I don't think he's done yet. But now if he fights one of those guys and he gets knocked out, then yeah, yeah, sir, sir, it's time to call it a career. I mean, you're basically done if you can't beat the if you can't beat these guys, in my opinion. And and also you you don't want to continue on with your career and become a stepping stone where guys where guys who guys who don't amount to anything can say, oh, you know what, I beat Sergio Martinez. I knocked him out and this, this, and that. See, that that's that's the thing that's going on with Roy Jones Jr. right now. You got so many guys who can who can who can come out and say, Yeah, well, I beat Roy Jones Jr. And guys who I mean, like I said, I don't wanna call them bums, I don't wanna disrespect pro fighters, but I'll say guys who 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 couldn't hold his jock strap in his prime. But they can come out and say, I beat Roy Jones Jr., which is it's sickening and and it's, it's kind of sad because you say, because you say to yourself like damn hey why did why did Roy continue fighting after all these years but I mean that that's another topic for another video but back to Sergio like I say I feel if Sergio and Sergio can fight one of those three and beat him maybe maybe even he can fight two of the three and if he can win then he can potentially set himself back up for a title shot with Cotto. And and like you said, he said he's 100% 100 healthy now. But uh, Lou DiBella doesn't want to take too many chances. And he's already got him going to see a, a, a orthopedic <coughs> a orthopedic um, doctor about his um, about checking out his uh, his knee and his legs. So, so like I say, people, um, the whole story about um, Sergio Martin, everything is about to uh, unfold pretty soon. So, so we'll see the results that he gets from uh, his orthopedic test. And if he is 100% healthy, I mean, we, we can we could potentially be looking forward to seeing Sergio Martinez again sometime later on this year, and uh, against a top 15 opponent at 160 pounds. Now he's not going to fight none of the elite guys. But he, but he might. But um, Luda Bella is saying that that he'll fight the good, the good, the good fighters, the good to like contender status type fighter. So, so that's a good move. So, uh, or either, uh, excuse me, or or he, he might fight guy. He might fight some on the rise type guys too. So, we don't know. I mean, just for now, it, it's it's just for now. It's just he's they saying top fifteen guys. So so we'll see how this go. But me, like I said, though, my thoughts on it, I think it's a good thing that Sergio Martinez didn't retire because, I, like I said early in the video, I feel every champion deserves a chance to redeem himself after, after a, a poor effort like that. So, hey, let's see if he bounces back or not. But this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys hit that like button. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know if you think Sergio should retire who you think Sergio could fight to uh to get back on the rebound or 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 either hey, if there's anything else you want to talk about in the comment section just leave your comments down now we will respond to you hit that um and hopefully you guys hey, hit that subscribe button uh for us keep supporting colossal boxes so keep supporting the movement and we're going to keep uh bringing these videos to you guys this is your boy smooth cat and I'm out